Hi, I'm Flor Castillo and welcome back to Tell It Like It Is. On Tuesday, September 5th, Trump's administration releases a statement to cancel the deferred action for childhood arrivals. So this week, I looked into how this issue has an impact on DACA students and families in our Hampton public schools. So DACA is a, an executive order that was signed by President Obama in 2012. Um, and it's meant, it stands for Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals, and it's geared toward giving some protections to children or people who are brought here to the United States as children by their parents illegally. And so they've spent most of their lives here in the United States, and many do not have any memories even of their home country. And so technically they're here illegally, they're not citizens of the United States, and they don't have a pathway to citizenship. Since Congress wasn't acting, he passed, well, he signed uh, an executive order to give them uh, protected status for two years in two-year increments, and that would allow them to get a Social Security card, um, get financial aid for college, and other protections that are guaranteed to people that are here legally. And every two years they have to go and check back in with um, immigration to make sure they haven't committed a crime or done some other thing that should make them ineligible to be part of DACA, to receive the benefits of DACA. I, I imagine that the, the unfortunate decision um, is already impacting our students and the way they come to school in terms of a lot of anxiety and a lot of worry. So there's probably some things going on that I can't control. I'm sure we have students here that have registered with DACA or they have family members that have registered with DACA. I know I have former students who are part of that and they're very, very scared. They have no idea what their future is going to hold. Um, some of, many of them have set up their lives here. This is all they know. They have family that was born here. Even their own children were born here. So their children are citizens of the United States. And if they're deported, they're separated from their children. This is a safe spot. Um, that I don't, I'm not aware of any situation that um, for any specific student impacting them, but I do know that the superintendent has made it very clear to us that if there ever was a moment if any immigration services um, agents showed up, um, that they would, um, we would hold them in the office and we would contact our superintendent and um, go from there. That we would not allow um, agents to come in, go through the hallways and um, have any contact with any students. Many politicians from both sides of the party have denounced Trump's action and released statements in favor of DACA. So President Trump has said it's up to Congress to pass a law to make this a permanent, to make DACA permanent or some version of it permanent. So what people can do is um, write to their Congress people, their senators, their representatives in Washington and ask them to move on this issue, to try to pass a law to make these people still have either still have the option to register for DACA and continue the program as it is or to find some pathway to citizenship for them. The policies of Northampton public schools will not change and DACA students find themselves in a safe space where they can get an education. I'm Flor Castillo, and this was Tell It Like It Is.
that this is a safe place um, all day. Um, how can the school help DACA students feel safe? great question. I, I think, um, I'm hoping that my teachers, Ms. Sullivan and Mrs. Berlin, are, are having discussions with our students around that. Um, being available resource in the building or finding resources outside of the building, maybe using our district social worker, um, you know, to find services that will um, provide um, direction, um, advocacy, um, etc. When the superintendent um, gave us the information, for example, about um, if we did have an ICE agent show up, that was in coordination with um, an external um, agency. Um, will the president's decision with DACA have any effect on current school policies? Like, will it change? No. I mean, we, if a student is here in Northampton, they're living in Northampton, we're going to educate them. No, no matter what. If someone show, they're going to get the same protections as any other student, and if someone showed up, um, we would have to greet them at the door. We have a secure system, um, but we would contact our superintendent immediately. Um, so we are not changing anything. We're just here to support our students and provide them um, the best education that we can. Thank you. You bet. <laughs> That's recording. Um, how will the president's decision with DACA affect undocumented students in the Northampton Public Schools? I, I imagine that the, the unfortunate decision um, is already impacting our students and the way they come to school in terms of a lot of anxiety and a lot of w worry. So there's probably some things going on that I can't control. Um, I would like them to know that um Um, how will the president's decision with DACA affect undocumented students in the Northampton Public Schools? I, I imagine that the, the unfortunate decision um, is already impacting our students and the way they come to school in terms of a lot of anxiety and a lot of worry. So there's probably some things going on that I can't control. Um, I would like them to know that um, this is a safe spot. Um, and I don't, I'm not aware of any situation that um, for any specific student impacting them, but I do know that the superintendent has made it very clear to us that if there ever was a moment if any immigration services um, agents showed up, um, that they would, um, we would hold them in the office, we would contact our superintendent and um, go from there. That we would not allow um, agents to come in, go through the hallways and um, have any contact with any students. This is a safe place um, all day. Um, how can the school help DACA students feel safe? It's a great question. I, I think um, I'm hoping that my teachers, Ms. Sullivan and Mrs. Berlin, are, are having discussions with our students around that. 
um, being available resource in the building or finding resources outside of the building, maybe using our district social worker, um, you know, to find services that will um, provide um, direction, um, advocacy, um, etc. When the superintendent um, gave us the information, for example, about um, if we did have an ICE agent show up, that was in coordination with um, an external um, agency. Um, will the president's decision with DACA have any effect on current school policies? Like, will it change? No. I mean, if a student is here in Northampton, they're living in Northampton, we're going to educate them, no, no matter what. If someone showed they're going to get the same protections as any other student, and if someone showed up, um, we would have to greet them at the door. We have a secure system, um, but we would contact our superintendent immediately. Um, so we are not changing anything. We're just here to support our students and provide them um, the best education that we can. All right. Thank you. you That's bet. it. <laughs>and there's a sense of unfairness to it because we offer we our government offered them a sanctuary sort of and now it's being possibly taken away so you know it's i think it's important for this is my own personal opinion that it's important for congress to act